Hello everyone and welcome to episode 77 of Hashtag Playing Together. We are the Sudden Knot and today we have Nathaniel playing with us. Hi Nathaniel. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? I'm, I'm excellent. <laughs> Can you tell um, everybody where are you zooming in from? Yeah, I'm zooming in from Sedona, Arizona, United States. There is a rhyme. Sedona. It rhymes. Sedona. I always feel weird saying it. Because <laughs> I know I'm aware of the rhyme. How, how is the, the nature there, by the way? Do you have mountains? or? Yes, I'm in a big nature area. Uh, it's up in the mountains. It's called, it's considered the high desert. Because it's, oh. it's the desert, it doesn't really rain. Yeah. Um, but it's higher up in altitude. So it's not as hot as as a low desert. So it's not a good place to plant vegetables, for example, to grow vegetables. It's not, it's not a it's not a great place for that. Just yeah, um, just a little bit of vegetables could grow here. Yeah, and it's a little uh, it's a small village you live. Yeah, it's uh... where I live is like eleven thousand people. Oh, okay. Oh, it's yeah. not that small. <laughs> Though there's a ton of tourism. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so it's like a lot of people want to visit here to go on vacation to see it. There's a spiritual connection to Sedona. It's like very mystical. So there's a lot of like um, people come here for, to heal or okay. like for personal growth. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's Do interesting. Do you have like a, some sort of heritage from from the natives? Or like um, your villages, I, you know, it it wasn't discovered. There wasn't it wasn't discovered for a, like a long time, um, because people. I don't know a lot of the history of the natives, but but people weren't aware of it as much um, because it's so hot in Arizona. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but um but but there's definitely like there's this magnetic energy that they call a vortex that's you know that's always been here so people oh. have always been drawn to the area yeah like a, like a magnet <laughs> and you feel like a, some people can really feel it i can even feel it mm -hmm. you can really feel like wow i'm happier here there's like really happy vibes okay in this area yeah, I would love to go to a place like this when you, where you feel stoned only from the atmosphere and the vibrations and the... yes, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a in fascinating fact, place where you live. Also, it is. Yeah. In fact, in fact like when my mom first came here, mm -hmm. like she got a headache because mm -hmm. it was like too intense. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just feel like really like good and happy and. Okay, you should give some of the vortex. You should look it up. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. have to give it a try. Sedona. <laughs> <laughs> we wish we could put it in a bottle, yeah, and send it out the world. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of the vortex in a bottle. How nice would that be? I've, I like to think of that. That is me. I'm going to bring yeah. that yeah. to you to you all. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well... Yeah, let's do some improv. Yeah, after this um, yeah, already fascinating story, I find so. <laughs> and see, <laughs> and see, yeah, that it. was it. <laughs> I said I just made all that up. Ah, uh, we knew that. <laughs> we, we knew it was made. <laughs> no spirit there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, you live in Brussels, yeah, just like me. <laughs> yeah, <I> just like <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm in your base. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Hanging on a cook. Cook. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So let's go for a suggestion out of the hat. Yeah. Um, we have our friends give on Facebook. Yeah. Let me reach yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I take. I take. Close my eyes. I take one. Is this a new one? Okay, this uh, is a suggestion from Pierpaolo Busa from Brussels, 
And the suggestion is a professional badminton player. Professional badminton. Badminton. This thing, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, with the little feather type things. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think badminton. That's it. And it it's a fun. Mm. Um, sir, I've got your racket waxed, ready to go. Matthew, you are the best coach. Thank you. Matthew, it's all about the wind, too. Have you checked the wind? You're not going to have any problem with the wind today. It's very favorable. In fact, if anything, it will give you an advantage. Okay. Your opponent today, very uncomfortable outside, only played indoors. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh is that possible? I, I thought everyone <laughs> played outside with the feathers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Matthew, do you know, last year we went to that, uh, that game in Paris, together. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, in Paris, um, you have the most fans there, and everybody gathered around you, and children, old people, and they were all next to you. Yes. And they were like, and they call you, they call you the uh, executioner. <laughs> because, <Yeah. laughs> yes. It's like you just you just executed executed my opponents like, one yeah, by no, one. That's funny, I never heard that before, but in Paris, that's what they <laughs> called you. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I like the most of our trips together to the games? Mm. Do you know what I like the most? That's having a meal together and talking about life. That's what I really enjoy. I, yeah. That, that's the thing. You have the most interesting yeah. philosophies about your uh, triangle theories about how there's, everyone's always grouped into threes. And I, just <laughs> love, I, love, uh, I love all these theories you yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. Do you know the square theory? Do you remember? <laughs> the, <laughs> oh, yeah. the square theory where four dots are connected by four lines. I mean that's amazing. I I yeah. I know. But, and, you Matthew, saw, and, yeah. and that was how you've been winning lately with the square theory cuz you somehow organize your yeah. brain to like make yeah. put a grid on the court. Yeah. Yeah, Matthew. But uh, yeah. Are you really sure you will, you would like to stop being my coach next year? <laughs> we We've been over this. Yeah, I but you're far too young to retire, Matthew. Far too young. I've accomplished everything I've ever wanted in badminton. We've won seven championships together. Yeah. More than anyone else. But I, win, I want to win more championships. And more importantly, I want to continue with our travels and our chats. You, you understand? That's so important for me. I will be nothing without you. That's not true. No, you it won't is. be nothing without no, me. It's no. not true. You stop. Where's this ne where, is the negative gremlin got you back? The negative the gremlin. Again? Yes. The negative gremlin got me. No. Oh. He's a negative gremlin is sitting on my back. Oh. 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 I you see? I'm going to tell it this to you. One of the reasons why I don't want to be your coach anymore is because I don't want you to be dependent on me. 
You can do this without me. I just can't believe that. You are, you give me inspiration. You know, when, we, when I'm playing the match and you are sitting there at the sideline, you do these small signs, you know, mm. that sign language we developed. So I know exactly which of the four corners I have to go for. I don't know, Matthew. Um, I don't know. Sir, sir. I actually brought in your new coach. She's here with us today. Very experienced. No, 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 no. I, I. Is this my cue? Can I come in? Yes, right. okay. Okay. this is the cue. Yeah, this I've been waiting cue. for a very long time. <laughs> uh, hi. I'm sorry about that. Um, this is uh, Virginia. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Virginia. Yeah, nice to meet you. You're going to be in great hands with Virginia. She's got excellent um, coaching ideas <laughs> to bring out the best of you. She's been studying you for the last six months. Yeah. Ma may I ask you a question? How, Matthew and Virginia, how do you know each other? We are engaged. Uh, uh, you're yeah. engaged, Matthew. Mm -hmm. you, you never told I me about. I know. I know. But you know how you go to bed early, and I, 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 I tell you that I'm, I'm gonna go out for a walk. Well, I mean, that's when I, me and Virginia. Ink. Yeah. So I, yeah, as I was saying, we are engaged now, and um, I had zero experience before I I met Matthew, but he coached me how to be a coach. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I was going to test this out, yeah, Virginia. Do you know the theory of the four points and the square? It's like in Sudoku. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I know that. Okay. Do you know my favorite drink before a game? Wait. Lemonade. Mm -hmm. Do you know my favorite flower, which I like to get from the fans after a game? White roses. Well, well Virginia, I, I think you are real coaching material. Mm -hmm. Now, but Matthew, when are you going to marry Virginia? Yes. So what happens when Virginia is traveling a lot with me? Are you joining us? Yeah, I will be doing most of the coachings online. This is this will be the first and the last face-to-face uh, -face coaching. Mm -hmm. It's, it's the new world. I mean, this is how it happens now. This is all part of the plan so that you're not so dependent on the coach. I know you like these conversations that we have, but you'll have to have them by yourself. I have to start talking with myself, you mean? Not only uh, uh, in the shower. In fact, I'm going to leave you by yourself now to reflect yeah. on this. Feel the, the vibe. I want you to start knowing what it's like when me and Virginia are off having fun and you're by yourself. Okay, I'll, I'm going mm -hmm. to try that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I, uh, what I got about you from the press and the articles and the interviews is that you believe that is still kind of sport uh, only for mostly for men. And uh, the way you, you play is very masculine. Man. You need to find your feminine side in, in playing badminton. You, 
because it doesn't. I mean, it's it's very. Uh, you are very good. You win most of the time, but so when I win, you your style of playing it, it's not beautiful. It's not pretty. It it has to be beautiful because people who watch TV and, and sports they they need to see the beauty of this sport. And you always play with your mouth open. You would scratch your. You know, I, I noticed you've done a thorough research of my person. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I used to be a researcher. Yeah. Now, Matthew learned me all these things. Yeah. Be masculine. Yeah. Read with my cool. mouth open and also the sounds. Like when I hit the plume. <gasps> See? <gasps> yeah, like from a very, very bad. Soft, erotic move. No, 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 I bring the inner animal to the surface. The inner if animal you, which if, is If you hidden. don't change something in your game and the way you play, you're out of the championship. Is that it's a new rule? That yeah, you're... I have the email. Oh so my God. you kind of have to play without showing any gender, if I can call it like this. I mean... I will not be able... Oh my god! And it will be better, it will be perfect, if, if you can find a partner, life partner, any kind of life partner, at least um, a pet. <laughs> you know, Virginia, I'm, I'm really envy Matthew that he found you, because you are full of great ideas. Yeah, and, and that's what I miss in my life. A exactly. Real yeah. and you're such life a partner. Good player. You're the best player in the world. But I, I found my life partner really with Matthew. All the chats we had and the dinners together. He's a good friend. He's my best friend. I just don't know, Virginia. Virginia, may I ask you a question? Do you yeah. really love him? Yeah. Do I, you want I, to steal him away from me? That no, I don't have I, a friend anymore. No, that's why I'm taking his place. See, because you, you kind of stick into this mature routine. Okay. I have to think about it. I, I will let you know later if, if I will decide that you yeah. can be there. Just, just sleep on it and uh, you'll see. Okay. This is William Thomas of the London uh, Review. You um, seem to be doing a different style that didn't work for you, and you got upset. Yeah, I, I, that, that, that's, that's true, Mr. Um, I, I missed your name, I'm sorry. Mr. Tom, Mr. Thomas. Thomas, yeah. I, I have now a new style, uh, which my, my coach is uh, promoting, uh, which is playing with my mouth closed and not making any animal sounds anymore. Animal noises are not, uh, that's not appropriate anymore on the tennis court, um, on, the, on, the, on the badminton court either, so. But I, I, I feel that I miss the connection with my inner animal. Now, you had a, another long-time coach, Matthew. Yeah. Matthew. And you won seven championships with him. You get this new coach, and it changes it to this feminine style, and you lose. Yeah. I can only blame myself. There is some, sometimes something on my back which pushes me down to the ground and it has that voice when it sits on my back it has that voice in my ears saying how bad I'm doing and that thing is back Matthew had that trick to remove it from my back but now Virginia Virginia doesn't know about it I haven't told her about it one last question you're not the co your coaches aren't present with you. How come you're by yourself? Uh, um, yeah, in, you in your corner, there is no coach there. I know. 
we are modern, we are following the latest technology, so we are zooming in, and uh, so they can see the, the game uh, through Zoom, uh, and I see their little heads, they are little, or her head then, and then she's yeah, yelling and pointing to corners which I have to play. Um, it's the latest technology, and, and um, we are going to improve that uh, soon with a little ear. Yeah, yeah, with a little ear, so I can also hear her. Yeah. In my opinion, you're much better than this. You must get your head back in the game. We, the world wants oh, to see the executioner come back. I don't know. Thank I you. don't know. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. I'm going now. Okay, so basically you misunderstood everything. I told you to connect with your inner female side and you imitated a woman. You cannot play on heels. How on earth you decided to do that? But I Virginia, you were not there. Yeah, you. Yeah. Probably you couldn't see me in the little Zoom screen because people in Zoom, they have no legs. So you couldn't see yeah, that. Why would you wear heels? You've never done that. I've never done that before. I mean, to connect with your inner female side, you have to meditate. You have to cry. You have to feel. I don't know, maybe maybe it's a good idea to... I mean, I feel like I failed you. It's You're just not ready for this emotional world. You're too old-fashioned, which is great because you're very talented and, and you're getting old and you don't have that much time in this sport. So I was thinking maybe it's a good idea to go back to Matthew. For, the last two years of your career not me <laughs> not me no I'm, I'm out yeah but see he needs you matthew i i really need you don't you want to do it one more time for the big game in new york the last one and then we can all retire together <laughs> you must be able to get these gremlins off your own back no. virginia <laughs> He has a gremlin problem. I know, but he's too old-fashioned. I mean, I'm, how can I? He's so uptight and... Um... <coughs> it's his gremlins that told him to put the heels on. Yeah, yeah they... you just need to kill this, these gremlins. I will, I will, I will try that. Oh, sorry, I have a bad connection here. Oh, there's my video. Yeah. Oh, uh, there. Hi. Ah, finally, yeah. yeah. I, I, I told you you have to turn on your camera. Yeah, I, I'm not so good so in that. I cannot see you. No. <clears throat> you know, the I... big match is coming up of your your rival, the only one that could yes. possibly yes. win the championship. Yeah. Yeah. And you've got to get that gremlin off your back. But, but how can I do that? How? Oh. oh. I know how, with a smoothie, we need to prepare a smoothie and give it to the gremlin and it will die because basically gremlins eat only meat. They are, they are allergic to everything else. Okay. Okay. Let's do I that. Will, I will email you the, the recipe. You know how to use your email, right? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going. Okay. Good luck. No heels. It's now three weeks later. I had a smoothie. And I really felt that the gremlin fell off my back. All the negativity. All the anger. All the disappointment. All the... Yeah. I felt a lot more vulnerable than before. But I lost. But I'm... I think I'm okay with that. I had a good career. I won a lot of games. I have good friends, Matthew and Virginia. I, I, I now actually see them, yeah. I live two hours from them and sometimes we meet and we have a 
little drink or a dinner and I've met someone in the place where I live because now I'm not so tra traveling anymore. I have more time to do other things and I've met someone. Yeah. It's a new life which starts. I always thought that my professional sports career, that was it. And I was, after that, this is the big void. That's not true. There's so many other things to explore. So many beautiful things. Yeah. Executioner, you coming back to bed? I will. <laughs> Here is your big gremlin. Ooh. And <laughs> <End> scene. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, to <the> <laughs> thanks to the smoothies. <laughs> yes. That's the secret. <laughs> <laughs> you had to email, email it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we, sorry we had again a little hiccup in, the, in this transmission, but uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> yeah. it, it froze in very nice uh, face expression. Oh my god. <laughs> it was a perfect timing because it was just, and the reaction to what we just told you. <laughs> <laughs> You're stunned. Thank you so much for playing with us. It was super great. But yeah, let's let's have a chat about improv, yeah, about the things you do. <laughs> <laughs> well well, first off, that was <laughs> That was fun to do a three-person scene with the um, – we did uh, two – you know, me and you, Johan, and, and then the three of us, and then you doing a monologue by yourself, and the two of you talking. I don't know. I, I thought that was really cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. And you've been doing a lot of uh, two-people scenes, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of two people scenes on uh, on Zoom, just like you, Zoom to streaming to Facebook. Yeah, I've done 140 of these since oh. the since last May. That's really amazing. Full of beating. So you are probably <laughs> apart uh, from Jay Sukov, who did 300. Probably also one of the first starting doing this, yeah. Ten minutes with other people. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was Jay Suko that encouraged me to do to okay. do it. Yeah. Um, um, I was talking to him privately about. Uh, I actually hired him for a private lesson <laughs> early on, like in the pandemic. He's like, "I'm giving um, free co free Whoa. improv coaching sessions in the month of May." Yeah. So I took him up on it. He was like, "Hey, oh, he's like, just like invite people to play and like go on, you know, you could go online and and I just started inviting people that I knew and then I just expanded out to like people I didn't know. And then I was just improvising from with people from all over the world and meeting for the first time yeah. just like this. Uh, <laughs> hey, I, I've known you for five seconds and now we're doing an improv scene. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, uh, it's all, it's so magical. It's also really magical because we all improvise as we talk more or less the same language and, and yeah, just put us together and we do something and we make a story or a game or, or we, and we just have fun. Yeah, we have this sort of common understanding of things we do, and I, you know, just love that. Yeah, <laughs> all that that connection. And you must love that so much too, because 140 10 minute scenes that's quite a lot. Yeah, it's uh, mm -hmm. it's really amazing. I love the con the connection. It's more about doing something fun with somebody. Yeah, you know, and um, and just getting you know, my whole thing is like. I just want to play. I just want it to be a fun experience where they want to play with me again. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only the only goal I have. <laughs> but it's a nice goal. Yeah, it is. I think it's very important. If if people like to play with you, 
you are yeah. you doing a good job as an improviser. That's the best thing you can ask for because if the reaction would afterwards be, oh no, oh, no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 please, <laughs> no. I think that's great. But you're doing already improv for a very long time. You said. Yeah, I've done it for over twenty years. Um, I I don't look as old as I as I am, but I've been doing. People are like, you've been doing. You're not What's old enough. What's the secret? Enough. What's the secret? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I try. I grow a beard just so I can look a little bit old. <laughs> <laughs> you started doing improv before you were born. <laughs> Without the beard, I look 11. <laughs> I'll try to do that as well, I promise. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been doing improv. Um, uh, I started improv when I was um, 20 years old and... I, I, I was a theater major in college. So I actually went to acting. Yep. And improv came from acting. It was like in my first acting class. Okay. Uh, and, uh, but I always liked improv because I, I like comedy. I'm a big comedy person. I, I like comedy theater. Um, when I, I became a theater director, I was like directing comedies. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, improv is almost always funny. <laughs> it's hard not to make it funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what they say? Yeah. Improv is either funny or a disaster, which is, again, funny. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only thing I personally miss with, miss with the Zoom improv. Um, you don't know if it's funny. <laughs> you don't know. I know. Yeah, you don't. I, know. <laughs> I think I'm, like, ten times better when I... There's an audience laughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw on YouTube today. Are uh, you? Do you both, Do you have theater backgrounds? Yeah, at I all? do. I, I have a theater background. Yeah. yeah. So do you? Because because actors on stage, you know, like there's like another level. Like when yeah. you go on the stage and you're out there. Like I always step it up. Like there, you find this this other performance level that I'm not sure I get in Zoom. No. <laughs> no. But I feed off the crowd or like they're out there and you come on and then, I don't know, I have like, I can connect with them and really draw them in. Yeah. So there's like nobody to draw me in I'm, on Zoom. No. The, yeah. only, the only thing uh, what I feel draws me in is the, the Zoom partners. You, both of you, yes. for example. Yeah, you give a lot of energy. Um, it's much smaller than in, when you are on stage, of course. But uh, for me, that's personally is already enough to keep going and liking it and loving it. I so. also, but I also read the comments here <laughs> coming. <laughs> Uh, under the video. <laughs> ah, do we have comments? Oh, uh, yeah. Can we get comments? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a couple of comments. Hello, oh, I'm glad I'm catching this scene from Seki and uh, from Giorgio. George, George, yeah. yeah. Giorgio, that's true. That's why I want to play with y'all. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> So, yeah, see, we have audience and energy from coming from. Yeah, from yeah, yeah. People, they people say they feel, they can feel it. Yeah. Um, I also um, like a like just as much improv as I've done. I've just done a lot of acting. Mm -hmm. I'm in a in a Shakespeare company. Okay. I've done a lot of Shakespeare, and uh, I um, I always feel like I'm at my best. Um, with a crowd yeah. you know I, yeah it just just uh just love that yeah do you have uh opportunities where you live in what was sedina S S sedona sedona yeah um, i mean there was this this company is there i have to tra it's actually in another town mm -hmm. that i have to travel an hour Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been dry. In the out in the west in America out west, everything's like far away. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> because because you can't just have back to back cities because it's not even like 
inhabitable. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you have to drive. You have to drive to the next place where there's a creek. Where, like, okay. Civilization can happen. Um, so if you drive an hour away, and there's like there's a, another town called Prescott, Arizona, and um, there's a Shakespeare company that operates ah, there. And that's good. They perform outdoors. Shakespeare is pretty cool. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, last year you cannot perform out. I know we didn't get it last year. We re- we rehearsed a play <laughs> that we never performed. But we're gonna try it again this year okay. <laughs> in August. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, but I. <laughs> but we rehearsed it thinking. I don't know. Maybe that we'll be allowed to do it. Um, and then we weren't able to. Mm. But it was like this 100% ready performance. And I and I was like, I nailed it. I like really. This one was like the best acting I've ever done. <laughs> it's a great. It's a great role. I play uh, yeah. the Merry Wives of Windsor. If you're familiar with that play, mm-hmm. it's yeah, uh, yeah. Play, playing Frank Ford. It's a, and it's a great part. And I'm like, I, I totally nailed it. I was like on fire. And then they were like, we're not doing anything with it. Yeah, that's really <laughs> too <laughs> bad. Yeah. And I'm like, no one will ever see. <laughs> but Except for the two people, the director and somebody else. <laughs> but do you um, might do it in August then? So that would be, might do it in. yeah, that would be fine. <laughs> you might do it next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you do also a lot of improv teaching, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, I've been teaching online, and uh, and I teach a class called Happy and Positive Improv. Okay. And that's uh, because I'm, I'm really into the, the power of positive thinking in any way. Um, my profession, other than uh, improv, <laughs> performing and teaching, I'm a life coach. Okay, mm-hmm. yep. And so I like to bring, like, uh, my passion for positivity, getting people uplifted and happy and, yep. and to improv. Now, that happens in, like, a lot of improv classes, but I do an extra focus on let's play the happier emotions. <laughs> let's, like, make, instead of, like, starting a scene saying, I just got divorced, why don't you start a scene saying, I just got That's married? That's really a very nice uh, thing, actually. I just got divorced. <laughs> yeah, it could be, that could be good. But, um, but, if, but a lot of people have these negative urges they actually want to they want to like bring up something bad and i'm like let's just flip it and like bring up something good something that you're excited about and uh like divorce you could be excited about <laughs> yeah. but, or you could be really sad about it yeah and like let's play the excited version yes just uh, anyway i have a whole class where we're, we're doing that and uh I, I make up a bunch of exercises like Here's a real cool, cool one. I'll, I'll play a game called um, um, Positive Office Gossip. <laughs> so you have two two people in an office working, but instead, and one person goes to the other, but instead of saying like, "Hey, did you hear about Sandra?" and uh, you know, I think she might be a prostitute. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. It's just some, some negative gossip. But if you're like, "Hey," I think Mark should get a raise. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's doing a really good job. You know, <laughs> you, you, you never, you never hear positive gossip in reality. You never hear positive yeah. gossip. Yeah, you could say, "Hey, have you heard about Mark? He has a raise, and I'm not. I don't have a raise." I don't yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not like I'm really rooting for Tina in the front office. I really want her to like be promoted. <laughs> Oh, that, that sounds like a nice game, actually. <laughs> you did, that, yeah. You to try. <laughs> yeah. Positive office gossip. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how do you see the positivity? Uh, do you sometimes do long forms? Uh, if, if in, yeah, yeah. And how does is, how does that go? Well, I'll start by interviewing p- char- characters, <laughs> and, and I tell them like, be happy. Yeah. Um, like, so we, we, we start with like, you're really happy, uh, but you could still flesh out a world 
Like, let's pretend there's a bunch of people that are all in high school, and like, let's talk about all your friends that you like and all. Yeah. And you could be quirky, you could be still nerdy, mm-hmm. you could still be very specific, uh, like quirks, but you're happy. Yeah. And then, and then I do put them together like in a long <laughs> form and have them interact. And, um, I don't know. It's kind of, that it's, sounds it's, cool. You can still wake at work without. Like maybe there's a little conflict. Maybe there's some conflict or some negativity. But but I'll like guide it to like to it ends up being like uplifting. Yeah. So you don't you don't know do, you don't do a lot of like conflict drama depression formats. Not in my class. I'm like there's plenty of other places. I mean in general, not only in your yeah. class. Oh, but even in my like. My improv doesn't seem to go that direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, I think it's fascinating. Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I often. Oh, personally... I, I'm Eastern European. I need the drama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, big heart. <laughs> yeah, which is great. Which is great. I, I mean, and I'll do it. Like, if you would have. You know, if you would have endowed me with like, oh, you're so depressed because your all your parents yeah. died. I would play it. Like, yeah. I'm an actor. I can yeah. play all the. Yeah. I think the, the the power is. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. the power is that you are able to do everything as well. Yeah. 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 That yeah. you can really play very very positive drama and of course then you have the things which you prefer to do and um, perhaps you do those a little bit more but uh, it's like the difference between games short form and long form I think both of them are really cool yeah. cool you might prefer one or the other but they are really as difficult and as challenging and, and as cool as, as the other ones so um, yeah no so how, how can people find you zoom uh, to play with you yeah, or... yeah, you yeah. can find me on Facebook. You can go to just Nathaniel Montgomery on Facebook and you'll be able to see all of the videos that I've done. Yeah. Um, and you can mess, you can just use Messenger to message me. Um, but you could also, uh, if you didn't want to find me on Zoom, you can go to my website. Ah, uh, okay. If you wanted to check out that, my, it's mostly about life coaching. Yeah. But if you're interested, you can go to NathanielMontgomery.com. Okay, I make a note of that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to share that on our uh, page of the Southern mm. Alt. Uh, and do you have classes or something coming up where people can... Uh... I have a class. It's almost like a secret class because oh. it's like I've been <laughs> cause I don't have it on a, on a website. Uh, but I have a class every Saturday. Okay. It's the Happy Im- Improv, Happy and Positive Improv. It's a drop-in class. Uh, I have a lot of people that come every week, and then they refer other people. And so I haven't had to market it that mu- yes. much. Okay. Because people just okay. keep coming. Yeah. Um, but you can you can ask you can. I... It's open to the public. Okay. So well. Um, yeah, it's like a ninety-minute class on a Saturday morning Arizona time, okay. nine thirty a.m. Saturday morning, uh, and uh, it's not very expensive. I charge eleven eleven dollars and eleven cents. One 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 one. Oh, nice. It's yeah. Easy to remember. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> we will we will mention it on the page and if people are okay. interested they could message you for example and get in contact yeah. you to join yeah saturdays at 9 30 i think it's an excellent way to start the weekend yes they, yeah uh, they have to be willing to be happy yeah <laughs> <laughs> you have to drop your grumpiness at the door no gremlins on the back <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah fine uh, well, thank you so much for being with us. It was uh, yes, it was great. Um, really enjoyed it. So um, Me too. yeah, yeah. What did, What did you like about it? Because I usually like to talk about what we thought we liked about the scene. <laughs> okay, uh, I liked uh, personally the dynamics. Um, we had a bit of a longer first scene, um, but every <laughs> show is a bit different. Uh, 
uh, I think we had nice grounded characters too. The mm -hmm. coach and um, the player and what they meant for each other. Uh, and then we had the, the twist, yeah, when Virginia popped up and... <laughs> 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 and then it was so funny so funny things all the time like um yeah we will not be there in person but only coaching with zoom this is the this was the first in person <laughs> meeting <laughs> uh the smoothie i will email you the recipe uh, the, the high heels we just wanted to have like a romantic like <laughs> vacation and <laughs> leave you off to yeah yeah there were a lot of things i really enjoyed yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Jochen said almost everything, but I would add that I like the um, connection between the, the characters and the agreements we did very fast. It was there was no hesitation of should I play this or, because sometimes that happens. Hmm. So I had a different idea. I so much want to play the grandfather. The, the grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to find a way to play the grandfather now, and I have a great name for the grandfather and the great story. <laughs> but that didn't happen here, which was which was great. Yeah, yeah. You just he just said I was the coach, and I was like, oh, I'm all right. I'm the coach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what <It's> about? Descending. <laughs> what about you? What uh, what did you like about uh, the scene? Uh. Yeah, well, I like that um, when I said, like, yeah, I've got this other coach lined up for you. That was based on, <laughs> that was based on, because, Johan, you said, uh, yeah, you're retiring. Like, how come you're not going to be a coach anymore? And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, that, that was a surprise. And then I'm like, yeah, because I've got this other replacement. And then, Desi, you said, you're like, yeah, I'm his uh, <laughs> fiance. Yeah. you know each other and that was great <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, the, well, and the full feminine energy like yeah you need to play it more feminine and then <laughs> you took it like no not i didn't mean play it as a woman <laughs> <laughs> that does i mean yeah. make it more a beautiful like more beautiful <laughs> not wear heels not in a dress <laughs> that was funny and great. <laughs> and then I liked that the end it ended in this, this monologue of your like, yeah, it's like it's three years later. And I want, I'm by myself, and the gremlins are off my back. And yeah, yeah, and yeah. then <laughs> and then the little line you said in the, with your in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Being girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you see, we ended it on a very positive note. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah. Nice scene. I yeah. Wish it... I wish it was longer. That was the only thing. Yeah. I wish I could have added like an hour long. Yeah. I wish we could have given out a long more time because. Um, I wanted to develop it even further. Yeah. You wanted to play the grandfather, right? <laughs> I, <did. laughs> I wanted to play the gremlin. Yeah. I wanted to be a... I did have that in my mind. That I would just play the gr Ooh. play a gremlin. That would be nice. Yeah. 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 That would be. Perhaps we have to do it again. Yes. That's yeah? the sign we have to do it again. Yeah. If you yes. want to play, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I want to play again. Yeah, let's, let's do it next month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Good. Let's. We'll uh... still be in lockdown anyway here, so it yeah. yeah, will. Uh, my skills will be enhanced by then. <laughs> <laughs> skills will be tripled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's arrange that. Yeah. But, uh, mm -hmm. Would be awesome. Yeah, would really be awesome. Awesome. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring us offline. So everyone watching, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thanks for the comments. And uh, yeah, see you next time. You can stay okay. for the moment, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was fun.